I was looking for you in the garden. The shadows under the trees perforated night skies. I found it hard to see in the glare. The only response to a call was the rustle of leaves, birdsong, your name diffusing through the undulations in the air. The kitchen doors were open. I checked the fridge before continuing. Skipping stairs was a stretch, but still a habit. Years later, a couple of lanes away from where we lived, I watched an asteroid break up on entry. Bright limbs streaking across a black sky. What were the chances? Miracles unfolding overhead. Drinking in the park. I could never explain the pit in my stomach. Frantic, nervous pacing through the house. If we act like things are not spiraling out of hand, does that make them so? If a thought goes unspoken, does that erase it? The unbrushed belief when my friend died decades later, that subconscious echo has carried him through me. But it never rears its head when it can be reasoned with. The world ends on a quiet weekend, not through diagnoses, emergencies, collapses. Although I hate thinking that memories bend. Cars were still parked outside. If the rapture had happened, why was it unrecognizable? Why was the sky blue? Why did no one tell me? Did these things not announce themselves? And when I found you, you told me to wash my hands. I've been playing outside. And spoke nothing of the end of the world. Does that mean it never happened? I'll give you everything I have Anything you want I'll give you everything I have Anything you want I'll give you everything I have Anything you want I'll give you everything I have Anything you want I'll give you Don't need 
from Sad. Did you get the last semester blues? Yeah, I mean, it was definitely like, you know, we had a month left. And it was like, I think our, it was weird because like we were going to go to Tokyo in like November 11th. And then we were like, you know, December 17th or something. So it was like, after that was over, it was like, oh, we really only have a month left now. Like it was like, I think before that it was kind of setting in that it was like, we're kind of coming towards the end. But then we still got Tokyo to look forward to. And then after we came back from Tokyo, it was like, boom, 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 boom. Like, you know, it was like everything's happening. Mm -hmm. and then it was like, a very emotional roller coaster, I guess. Yeah. And it's like I don't want to look back on this and feel sad. That's like what I'm trying to not do. Because I'm trying to that's like that's the one thing I I don't regret anything I've done here. I don't regret anything I've done here. I don't regret anything I've done here. Feels like home like I don't like this place feels like home right now I guess more than like America <laughs> but at the same time I haven't been in America for so long that I feel like what does feel like home mm -hmm. right like when I get back I feel like I really be able to understand what feels like home yeah it's a very emotional like roller coaster I guess yeah and it's like I don't want to look back on this and feel sad. That's like what I'm trying to not do. Because I'm trying to, that's like, that's the one thing that I, I don't regret anything I've done here, right? But I think the one thing I want to make sure to understand is that this is a learning experience to set me up for the rest of my life. <laughs>